Alright, now we must talk color. I have a couple pictures here I kind of want to show you before we get started. When we deal with color, we deal with lighting. Here's a photograph I found on the internet. I just kind of want to show you a few things about this that kind of make it um, a really good example of lighting. Here we have two forms of lighting. One in the back of the stove and one towards the side of the stove. Okay. Notice, because there is a light in the back, there is a little stream of light that catches the edge of the stove right here and then thereby separates it from the background dynamically. Okay. Over here, notice how clean and crisp these lines are and how they separate away from the background because the light is pouring in from the side. If I look at this stove very carefully, where do I see all the detail? The detail lays outside the shadow region. If you look at it, here's all the shadow. There's some detail, but most of the detail is in the center of all this mass. If you kind of look at it, here's the little rust marks. I don't see the rust marks over here very, um, but here I do. So there's two areas where you'll see a lot of detail if you start dealing with color and light. You'll see a lot of detail here and a little de and a lot of detail here, but not so much in the highlight area and not so much in the shadow area. Also, the only thing I don't like about this photo is it's really dark. I mean, it is it's got its dynamic properties because of that and it's a, it's an art piece because of it but really you know there's nothing here in the shadow region I have to use my imagination which is good that's a that's that's probably a good thing that you know you look at it here you know you have to kind of use your imagination of what's behind this stove but again the shadow is just a little dark okay now that we get that one out of the way I want to show you another piece Once I get this one closed. This is what we're going to be painting. A piece of fruit. I know. I know. Ultra lame, right? Piece of fruit. But before we handle something like this. Before we can handle something like this, we must first learn how to use um, separation of color and how light streams across the surface. And we must also know how to separate color with our eyes. All right, so what I'm going to do is cut your teeth on this apple. As soon as my Photoshop quits being weird. So what I'm going to do is open the apple up. There we go. And I'm going to open a new scene. The new scene is going to be, uh, let's see, eight and a half by 11. So US paper size. And actually it's going to be 11 by 8.5. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is make this so it floats. And I do that by going into here, arrange, float all in windows. That way I can put the apple over here and start showing you how to kind of steal color away from it and use it within this painting. Next, I'm going to take and set up my document like I usually do. I go in here, I take this layer and I fill it with black. I do the exact same thing I did with the other t sketches, 
I never paint on white. It's too hard for my eyes to see. So there we go. And here we go. Okay. Now, the first thing you got to learn how to do is see silhouette. Silhouette is the apple with no color, no anything. It would be the apple in the dark if there was a light behind it or a shadow of the apple. Okay? So, what I mean, or if you didn't get that, let's go into here and go to Painting JW. So I can pull up my navigator. Then I can go to my tool preset. Looks like my tools didn't get loaded, so go to go sketch tools. There we go. And I can take my sketch brush. And in the next video, I'm going to start taking this apart piece by piece on the apple and show you how to apply the color to it.